Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Maoka Koko no Yutose episode number 3. Alright, the previous episode we got Honoka's perspective of the story and it was uh, like you know we got to know, know a few new things at least for me. I never realized that Honoka was such a fangirl of Miyuki. I never realized. Uh, I've seen Retose, but I, I knew that they like you know they had a mutual respect for each other. They liked each other, but <laughs> never did I even think about like you know her kind of acting like this. Like I like always I had this kind of impression that Honoka really liked Tatsumi from the beginning, and you know when from when Tatsumi kind of saves her, and I thought about it like that, but never did I realize that. <laughs> And the actual, like, you know, person who she fangirled about in the beginning was Miyuki. And later on, she kind of, like, you know, starts liking Tatsuya as time goes on. So, <laughs> that was a really, like, you know, these are the, like, you know, new things that we're going to get, getting to see after you're seeing everything from Miyuki's perspective, from Honoka and all the other people's perspective, which we never got to know before. Because everything we saw was through Tatsuya's eyes. And now, like, you know, one thing I'm realizing is all the other characters, for example, Leo and uh, Erika, like, you know, Shibata, they will probably be kind of like side characters here. Because they were kind of like the main supporting characters in the original show, because they always were with Tatsuya. They were like Tatsuya's group. But now we're going to have Miyuki's group, which is like, you know, uh, Honoka, uh, Shizuku, uh, and uh, you know maybe like some other characters will join in in the future so like yeah that's like really great because we're going to see like you know everything from a completely new perspective and everything will be new and i never did did i expect something like this i thought everything would be shown through Miyuki's perspective and the, the the story will be kind of the same everything will be the same but no it's very different so yeah i'm really excited to see what how, where this goes so yeah guys without further ado let's get started this is mahoka koko no yutose episode number three so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Oh god. All right. Oh great. Here we go. Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> damn, she's going hard. Yeah, you'll be frozen for your life. <laughs> wow. I hope that teaches him a lesson. I doubt it will, but, you know. Yeah, as we can see, like, you know, the main characters will be uh, Shizuku and Honoka here. Like, main supporting characters.
All right. Let's see. The Girls Detective. <laughs> All right. The Girls Detective Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh no, she wants a bent. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Okay. Student safety. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, Tasum is uh, uh, Tasu is also there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this, this is the time when like the whole thing with the um what was the the whole dojo thing happens. I forgot her name. <laughs> oh Okay it says board by it. Whoa, they have a full roster. Whoa. Oh no. Capture them. <laughs> oh no. Run. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, this is. <laughs> What? What is that? Whoa! Oh, this is that girl. I, I, don't, I don't remember her name. I always forget her name. <laughs> she, she came in a horse. Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, she has nice eyebrows. That's that's one thing I noticed. <laughs> oh my god, look at those eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well. Amy, Amy, okay. Amelia, Amy, okay. That's that's better. Hm. Whoa! <laughs> Double handshake. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Is someone there? Oh no! Someone interfering. 
Oh, this is that portion. Okay, okay, yeah, that, that's what I was saying. The whole thing with Dojo happens. Like, you know, where they kind of. Tatsuya's first arrest. <laughs> yeah, first arrest. Mm. Okay. So this was what was actually happening on the other side, you know, like uh, Miyuki and Shizuku Honoka, what they were doing. Um. Okay, a locker room scene, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god, well... <laughs> yes. Oh, Amy is here. Honoka, calm down! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, yes, def obviously it's my brother. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Hmm. They need to uh, choose a club as quick as possible. Del spell. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, Niwaban. All right. Yeah, the show uh, ninjas of the shogunate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stealth. Oh, really? No. Oh yeah, that's true. This is like support magic. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, this looks very suspicious. <laughs> this is very suspicious. How are they even holding that? It's like... Oh. Oh, this was... <laughs> All right. Whoa! Okay, we never saw this before. Oh! Whoa! Damn, Tatsuya! Wow! Well, this is Tatsuya we're talking about, so... Hmm... She's like, oh my god, she's, he's a weed? I'm sure Amy is very surprised.
What? Oh, I'm guessing the traces of the cell. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> What's with that? <laughs> okay. Ah, this is Tatsuya. He can. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hmm, yeah, most probably. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Um, is this a detective thing that the title said? <laughs> oh no, the detective club is happening. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Well, she kind of knows, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, detective club. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well. Dream on. Oh yeah, this oh boy. <laughs> oh, he's already engaging someone or something? Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, they were able to locate him. All right. 
Oh. Okay. 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 They weren't able to do. <laughs> um. Oh, did they send them photo? No, wait, what happened? Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mitsui and Kit. Oh, those two guys? Or... Oh no, someone else, okay. Oh, that's their... Oh! That's a... Okay. <laughs> I wasn't able to recognize him because they said her last name. <laughs> because of that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right yeah <laughs> oh no oh no me <laughs> <laughs> She's going to contact them later on. <laughs> okay, never mind. <clears throat> um. Oh wow, we have iced tea now. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, yeah. No, you're not. <coughs> this becomes a very big deal later on. Uh, oh, they, they tracked him up. Tracked him great. Wow. The detective club. <laughs> She's a good. Oh boy. All right. <coughs> well, that was a fun episode. <laughs> okay, so Amy kind of gets involved in everything. Now, as I said, like, you know, like, this is showing us a very new perspective. Uh, as far as I can remember, in Reto say, Amy barely had any screen time. No, like, that's why I didn't even know her name. Uh, I think she kind of showed up once or twice or sometimes later on. But, like, you know, as much as Honoka and Shizuku got their screen time, in Retosei, Amy got barely none. So, 
now that we're seeing her here, I'm guessing we're going to see more of her because she seems like she'll be kind of included into the team of, uh, you know, Miyuki and Honoka's team. <laughs> and we're going to see like, you know, more of their, what they does and everything. And <laughs> obviously this episode, we saw what were happening behind the scenes, you know, like all the while Tasa was like, you know, getting like, you know, the whole thing with the uh, Kendo thing that was happening when he got involved in that, then when people were actually targeting him, doing all that stuff in the background, this was happening. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see. All right, that's the end. <coughs> It'll be interesting to see more of what the ad other characters did, you know, while Tatsuya, while we were kind of focusing on Tatsuya on Red Tose. All right, so uh, this episode, <clears throat> just a sec, this episode, uh, this is episode number three, and here, okay, okay, first thing we get to see is the whole thing with the club membership. They, you know, they are on the top of the student, like, you know, like, they're very talented, Honoka and Shizuku. That's why everyone wants them as for their own club, all that stuff, you know, like what usually happens in, <coughs> you know, as we are like seen uh, anime in Japanese school, like, you know, uh, anime in, in the uh, in school setting in different animes, where usually uh, a new character, like, for example, let's let be a transfer student or someone else. Whenever they join the school or when the school starts and uh, there's this whole thing with the seniors kind of recruiting people for their club so that you know they have new members and after they graduate the club can go on and it's really like I, I really like this whole thing of the club system like it, it's kind of uh, in a way if you think about it it's kind of like a, uh, like some people might say that yeah it's kind of a very you know like what can I say like an extra job you have to do after school like you know after school you have to go to the club do their own thing the club had its own schedule you know like a lot of things even in sometimes in some clubs even in during the vacations you have to go and like you know do stuff for them like it's like a new, completely new thing <coughs> like you know i'm not sure if, uh, of the other like you know schools in other places but at least in my country there's no such thing <coughs> excuse me like you know, no club system so i like you know, I, whenever like this whole thing, like whenever we see kind of this kind of club system in animes, I always like you know feel like the like you know the Japanese school system feels very what can I say? Um, you know they give a lot of duties and lot of responsibilities to the students. You know, like teachers barely you know like kind of interfere in this whole club thing. Even the like you know the club president does most of the things and report to the teachers. So. <clears throat> It kind of fascinates me whenever this whole club system comes in as like you know it's the club members actually think for their club and they even think that yeah after i graduate like you know we need to keep this club running that's why we need to get more you know people and that's why like you know they can always like are in the hunt of <laughs> new talented people who are suited for their club and similar thing happens here <coughs> excuse me <coughs> similar thing happens here and uh they we're almost going to get snatched up <laughs> by the, like you know some club but amy comes in and i'm not sure <laughs> what club she, like you know she has um, like you know she, like she said something about like i wanted to like you know uh, just a sec like uh, yeah so i'm guessing she she said like i i use more brute force to get you guys out of there and like you know take you guys in and <clears throat> Then she makes a little group of a detective group, <laughs> and <clears throat> like as I as I was saying, Amy, I barely even knew her name because we didn't even see her before. So it's actually interesting to see her, you know, in action. I didn't even know her actual personality that much, and I was I have to be uh, like like, and even if they showed her. You know, like my, my my as I said, my memory is hazy, and because she did not give much, got much much screen time in Retose, 
I barely even remember how she acted, how she talked, anything about her. So, like, you know, this episode kind of uh, made me realize that, oh, this is Amy. She's a girl. Like, you know, she's a type of person like this. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I, I always had, like, an impression that she was kind of, like, you know, serious or something. But now, like, that we see in this episode, she's very cool and very, like, <laughs> you know, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Very laid back and, like, you know, like kind of like you know has fun all all that stuff so <clears throat> anyways okay and then uh we see what was happening in the background here which was tatsuya whereas in reto said this was what's happening in the background <laughs> and the whole thing with the the whole situation with the um uh, i forgot the girl's name um the girl who kind of gets messed like you know mixed up into this whole situation messy situation in the kendo club um you know that whole thing starts happening this whole arc and i, I even forgot the arc's name but <clears throat> we see that while this was happening there this was happening here and <clears throat> they do track down the guy by the end of it and what uh you know what they were actually discussing uh what tatsu was saying that I'm not sure was it Tasha who was saying that or who no as I mentioned that uh, if this is something serious they might get mixed like you know mixed up into this mess and <clears throat> like you know we don't want that and anyways okay and uh, what else okay Another scene here, which I don't think I can't remember this was shown in Retose or not. The whole scene where you know, like <clears throat> that someone attacks him from behind when he was trying to uh, stop the fighting between two students, and he, he kind of you know, moves aside and the attack misses. I am really not sure. I cannot remember if this was shown in the main main show in Retose. But, you know, uh, <clears throat> I feel like this was something new. As I said, like, I cannot remember. A few things I've kind of forgotten. Because Ritose has been, especially season one, has been quite a long ago. So, yeah, but I'm remembering stuff, you know. Like, as I'm seeing this, like, it's kind of coming back one by one. So, I'm sure we'll, we'll I'll, like, you know, in the future episodes, I'm going to get reminded of more stuff what happened <clears throat> and uh, yeah all right and then we get to the next portion where they try to make a, not try but where they make a detective club <laughs> i thought nuki would be in, uh, like you know included in it but it looks like it's just a uh a what was her name amy amy uh, uh amy uh, honoka and shizuku and they want to find out what who is bothering the brother uh, bothering Tatsuya so now another thing uh, I really did not expect Amy I thought Amy would be kind of like you know just like Shizuku and Honoka thought that she well after she gets to learn that uh, Tatsuya is from course 2 she would you know change her mind or some something like you know some sort of change in behavioral changes we are going to see uh, turns out no, and I was kind of not expecting that. I, I'm not sure why, but you know, like as she said that, like you know, it's like a whole like crap, you know, like a very bad type of a uh, uh, system where people are actually discriminated because they are unable to do something. And now, <clears throat> uh, yeah. And uh, she said that no, I, I'll definitely not like you know change my uh, you know my stance on Tasha just because he is from course two, and obviously they can they themselves can see how strong Tasha is. So, <clears throat> like as I said, I, I was a little bit surprised here, and yeah, like I I was not expecting her to like I I was sure like I knew that she was going to accept it, but I did not 
think that she was going to accept it so easily. Like I thought they, she would probably say something like, oh, she's a, he's a ghost student, okay. And then after like, you know, seeing more of Taxa, she's going to change her mind. And she would be like, in the end, we'll be like, okay, like, nah, I was wrong. You know, not all, you know, like we should not discriminate like this, like goes to students means, like, you know, inferior to goes one students. That's not the case here. All that stuff. I thought like something like that was going to happen. Like eventually she was going to kind of warm up to the uh, fact that, yeah, like Tasuya is definitely talented and, like, you know, and like similar with all the course two students because uh like they like you know a few students might be talented in some other department uh so but she she just readily said that yeah like uh like i i don't care i like you know like the, this whole system is kind of uh weird and like, you know bad so i never like you know thought about discriminating people based on their test marks so yeah, and she said that yeah we need to stop these people <laughs> we need to stop these people who are harassing Tatsuya now the main thing here is they thought that the people who are harassing Tatsuya were normal people like just like in the in the beginning of the episode we saw uh, that guy I forgot his name uh, you know who was kind of trash talking Tatsuya and Miki got mad <laughs> and froze him <laughs> so I like you know Honokai Amy and Shizuku thought that they were people like that Unfortunately, that's not the case here because the people who are actually targeting for Tatsuya has something bigger in mind, which obviously they don't know. And they are thinking like, okay, like people are actually bullying Tatsuya, we need to stop it. I'm not sure what they would have done if they actually got to know that something big is happening and this is not like, you know, normal riffraffs who are uh, like, you know, messing with Tatsuya. This is some very big deal that's happening. If they got to know that beforehand, Probably they would have went to Miyuki. I'm not sure. You know, they would have probably like you know, went to Miyuki. But here we see in the end that after they find out the person, okay, what was his name? The person who, uh, just a sec. I forgot his name. Okay, the attacker. Okay, class three of Kinoe Tsukasa. Okay, that's his name. I forgot his name. Uh, Sukasa, Kinoe Sukasa. So when they find out, like you know, that oh, this guy, Kinoe Sukasa, is the actual person who is behind it, and they don't know that something big is happening in the background, they they say that okay, we're going to stop him. Obviously, that's not a good idea because this guy is like you know has a lot of backups and they, like you know he's kind of a big deal here. <clears throat> he has some pretty powerful. You know uh what do you call it support from behind now i cannot as i said like you know i my memory is hazy i cannot remember i think as far as i like small little things are coming in my mind i think something happens during this moment you know in retose where most probably honoka shizuku they kind of get you know mixed up into some kind of a situation where Tasuya comes and saves them I, I as I said saying like you know I cannot remember like it, it's kind of hazy in my mind so like you know in the next episode we're probably going to get uh, you know something and my memory is probably going to come back again because I think something happened here in Retose you know like something like regarding this and Tasuya kind of goes and saves them or something like that happens so probably we're going to see that in the next episode because obviously we, as you can see they are definitely going to go and confront the culprit here so and i'm sure that it will not go well go well some they, they like you know something bad will probably happen and they will kind of get mixed up into this whole messy situation so yeah <clears throat> all right and the comedy factor was obviously there a lot of funny portions the the first one was the whole thing where <laughs> you know they like tasha goes to the student council and uh like you know like they were kind of doing a little like play <laughs> in the background uh, you know like they were like <laughs> oh i need punishment and <laughs> tachiwana was like <laughs> like you know all jokes and stuff and then uh <clears throat> another like you know funny portion where mm, the whole <laughs> Photograph situation where Miyuki and Tasha are like talking and 
that says like okay they were like kind of taking photographs and Miyuki was like oh my god I need to go and contact them then she actually gets to know that it was not him that they were photographing but it was the culprit <laughs> okay and uh, yeah what else I think that was it yeah that was it nothing else like nothing much to discuss about in this episode because this was very straightforward and like you know they kind of follow formed a little detective club <laughs> and they want to stop the person who is bothering Tatsuya so yeah so yeah guys that was it and that was my reaction we met a new character not new character as per se, we knew her from Reto Se, but still, you know, for me, she's kind of like a new character because, as I said, like we barely got, got to saw her in Reto Se, so it's like we're meeting a completely new person here. So, like, you know, this this really kind of like, you know, um, people like, you know, who never got any screen time and they're getting a lot of screen time here, and it's going to kind of like, you know, flesh out the whole story even more. And I'm really like, you know, glad that they're doing it like this. And yeah. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Mahoka Koko no Reto Se episode uh <laughs> Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se episode number three. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, so yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another set episode of Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.